Oh, it's being recorded. Oh, we're oh. Oh, oh, there she is. <gasps> Hi, Mara. Hi, Mara. Hi, how are you? Oh, you look lovely today. Yeah, Thank you. Who are you? We have a kind of similar bob thing going on with our with our hair. Yeah. The only bob I know is the bob that lives uh, down the street here. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good singer. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Ji Young, it's really nice to meet you. Maybe uh can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Uh yeah, um, my name is Ji Young and I am seven years old and I, I love to play the guitar and I, I love playing with my friends. Yeah. And, and I, I just started learning how to skateboard. It's a harder than I thought, but I'm gonna get good at it. <laughs> um and I uh, I'm very close with my family. I love my family more than anything. Mm. Um, and uh, I don't know. That's about it. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's, that's, that's very descriptive. Oh, thank you. Mm. Ernie, do you have a similar spiel? How old are you? Do you know how to ride a skateboard? All of that. <laughs> well, you know, I'm pretty good on a bicycle. <laughs> uh, not so good with the skateboard. Uh, I'm actually very, I find that very impressive. Seven years old and riding a skateboard like a champion. I, I, I wouldn't say a champion yet. Well, you know, it's great. It's great to try new things, you know? Yeah, it's true. Yeah. I love trying new things. Mm -hmm. It's a lot easier when you're seven than when you're 70, probably. So it's uh, a good time yeah, to get into it. Uh, yeah, my mom says that about skiing. She says, like, it's it's a lot easier when you're a kid and you have, like, no sense of your own mortality. You know what I mean? You're just so super fast. I, I'm not sure what that I means, do, but I'm that's like, pretty funny. I, that's what my mom said. I, mm. I Did I say it right? No, right. I think so. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like to go on that. You know, I want to do big, fast jumps and stuff like that. Well, that sounds like fun. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. You're a cool daredevil. Um, so, Ji Young, when did you move to Sesame Street and what do you think of the neighborhood? Oh, I just recently moved to Sesame Street. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty new. But I got to say, it's been great. Everybody's been so welcoming. Oh, that's nice. That's and nice to hear. Yeah. And, yeah. and um, th there's so many different kinds of people and monsters. Mm -hmm. And everybody's been so nice. Yeah. I really like it you know, here. You know what, uh, Mara? She's a terrific addition to the neighborhood. You know, huh. she just moved in a short while ago. But she fits right in. Huh. She really belongs. <laughs> Thank you, Ernie. <laughs> I do feel like I belong here. Yeah. Ernie, I was going to ask you, how did you meet Ji Young? Oh, well, I, you know, I, I knew that she and her family moved in. And uh, so, you know, we have a tradition, uh, Bert and I, you know, we, we go by and we say, welcome to the neighborhood. And, you know, we tell uh, people where to find into the groceries down there at Hooper's store. And uh, if they're birds, we tell them where to get the best bird seed milkshakes. Oh, I'm not a bird. Yeah, she's not a bird. So I didn't mention that part. Oh, oh yeah. And, and actually Cookie Monster, you know, bakes everybody, uh, uh, every every newcomer to the neighborhood, a uh, uh, big tray of cookies. Yeah, it was really delicious. And, oh, and you yeah. actually got one? Because he usually <laughs> eats them all before he can get well, them. I, I was going to say. Oh, no, and then good. I ate it like under the table. Wow. And I and I chewed slowly and quietly. Oh. But, that, that, but yes, I got it. I got it. And, and finally, Oscar has this wonderful tradition where he tells new neighbors to scram so that they know they really belong in the neighborhood. Listen, when Oscar first told me to scram, it really felt like, ah, oh, I'm really on Sesame mm -hmm. Street. Yeah. 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 You have arrived. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. That's exactly right. Well, I was going to say, is there anything coming up on Sesame Street that you're excited about? Being new to the neighborhood, you know, flyers you've seen, what are you into? Oh, yeah. Um, uh, we have a really big festival coming mm. up on Sesame Street. It's called Neighbor Day. Neighbor Day. Yeah. yeah it's, it's a festival that celebrates the whole community. Yeah. Yeah. Because everybody's got something special to share. Right. Uh, I've been really practicing a song that I'm very excited about performing mm. at Neighbor Day. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. That's wonderful. Hey, you know, you, Mara, you should you should join us for Neighbor Day. Hey, maybe you have something special about Mara, yourself you that you'd like to share. I would love to. Yeah. I mean, Day? yeah, I, I like to think I'm a good neighbor. Oh, I'm sure you are. <laughs> um, Ji Young, I heard that you're Korean American. What does that mean to you? Oh man, I I am very proud of being Korean American because mm. it's cool that I'm like two things at once. Um, I'm super proud of my heritage. My family and I like to to sit down to dinner every night, and most times we eat Korean food. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I, I live with my mom and dad, and my brother and sister, and my hymeny, which is grandma and Korean. Mm -hmm. And uh, we eat Korean food almost every day, uh, and it's pretty delicious. What's your favorite dish? I have a book I read to my kids called Bibimbap, but <gasps> do you have a favorite one? 
Oh, I love bibimbap. Bibimbap is like, like pot means rice mm-hmm. and bibim means like kind of like mix it all together. Mm-hmm. And so it's where you take rice and a bunch of stuff and you mix it all together. Oh, that sounds delicious. Yeah. That sounds like a, a rice smorgasbord kind That's of thing. That's exactly what that is. Oh. And so my favorite dish is called tteokbokki and it's like these chewy rice cakes. And usually they're served with this like sweet and spicy sauce, um, which I like. Sometimes other people find it a little too spicy. Yeah, probably Bert. Bert, Bert would find that too spicy. <laughs> yeah, of course, Bert, Bert, Bert finds mayonnaise too spicy. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Well, I was going to ask, you know, I know Ernie, your old buddy Bert loves oatmeal, like loves plain oatmeal. Mm-hmm. How would each of you sort of doctor it up to make it a little more tasty? Like, Ernie, how do you, you know, how do you take that plain oatmeal? Well, you know, like, I like to take oatmeal and put a little, little sprinkling of uh, crunchy granola on top. <gasps> yeah. And- Maybe add some nuts and some dried fruit, or perhaps a banana and a little cinnamon, and chop up a banana on there, and uh, maybe some dried blueberries, and put some uh, jimmies on top. A little add some color, a little jimmies. I, it sounds like you made bibim oatmeal. Or I made Ernie oatmeal. Ah, I mean, I, well, I mean, I think I put some of those things in. In there that you you pretty much named everything that I would possibly ever put in oatmeal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so I have heard a lot lately about people, hopefully not on Sesame Street, um, having misunderstandings or sort of being mean to one another. Um, what would you two do if you saw someone treating someone else poorly? Or why do you think people are mean sometimes? Well, that's a that's a tough that one. That is a tough one. It's a, it's a big swing from the maybe, oatmeal question. Maybe sometimes people are kind of mean because they're not very happy. If they're not very happy, they sometimes they got to take it out on, on other people by being mean. Yeah. I think maybe sometimes people are mean because other people have been mean to them mm. and they just need someone to be nice to them to, to learn how to be nice to other people. Yeah. yeah. That sounds about right. Yeah. Mm. I think sometimes people too are scared or are mean to other people because they don't understand other people. Do you know what I mean? Like they might understand, they might be afraid of something they don't understand. So yeah, if I think, they learn I, more about different people, they might be right. nicer. Right. You know, they, they, they might be uh, they might be a little ignorant about the other person. Uh, but once they get, you know, they know the other person and learn a little bit about them, mm. yeah, they, maybe they won't feel the need to be, uh, you know, to be mean. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the first time I met Big Bird, I had never seen a bird that big before. And it mm. honestly, it was kind of scary. He was so tall and I, I didn't mm. know if he would, I don't know uh stomp on me or something cool. you know yeah that's how i felt but cool. the more i got to know big bird i realized he's the just the nicest bird you've he's ever the nicest met bird you could ever yeah meet. he's really sure. fun and mm-hmm. sweet and, and he's, he's a good neighbor friend. too he big bird's a good and he, and he can tell you where to get the best bird seed, bird uh bird seed milkshake oh that's where i'll get that info from yeah good i mean i imagine it would be probably sometimes intimidating to meet cookie monster because you wouldn't understand why he's eating all your cookies but once you get to know him yeah. You know, yeah. you'd get it. <laughs> he had a very growly voice, too. But now I love does he, it. Does he have a growly voice? I never really thought about that. What? I guess he does. I guess I guess Cookie Monster does have a growly voice. Oh, yeah. yeah. I never really yeah. heard to me. And he goes, nom, 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 nom. Oh. That That's a pretty good imitation ah, of Cookie face. Monster right there. Kind of you got to do that for him. I think he'd appreciate oh. it. Nom, nom, nom. He goes, nom, 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 nom. Yeah. <laughs> Um, last question, you know, big swing, big, no segue here from the last one. Um, Ernie, you are, a, you know, I have heard that you love to take a good bath. Uh, oh, what are your tips no. for taking a perfect bath? Like what well, are you, the what perfect are you bath. Well, <laughs> well, first of all, the perfect bath, you gotta have your bath toys, right? You, you, you gotta have your boots and, and, and you, and you gotta have, you gotta have your little people to play with on the boats. But most importantly, you gotta have a special friend. And my special friend is my rubber ducky. <laughs> and if I had my rubber ducky, oh, and bubbles, I love a bubble. You like oh, a good bubble yes, bath? Yes, yes. Who doesn't love a good so. bubble bath? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, some nice bubbles. And, you know, maybe maybe some music playing it, maybe a little classical oh. music. And uh, and you just really take your time. And if your roommate keeps banging on the door and says, Ernie, would you please hurry up with that bath? I want to, I need to come brush my teeth. And you and you just say, in a minute, Bert, I'm having my perfect bath. <laughs> that, that's all part of your perfect bath. That's, that's all. That's all. That's that's the whole. I want to be in picture. Oh wow, that is a that picture. is a perfect bath. I still have that rubber duck you gave me with the little electric guitar on it. Oh, you do. Oh, yeah, that's so I, good. I take baths saw, with that. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I've seen some skateboarding rubber duckies too. You got to look out for one of those too. Oh yeah. Oh, 
<laughs> well, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate all your time. Thanks thank so much, Mara. Thanks, Mara. Bye-bye now. Who are the friends in your neighborhood? In your neighborhood. In your neighborhood. Say, who are the friends in your neighborhood? They're the people that you see. Hey, Jay. <laughs> <laughs>